Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Evil Up, an adventure roguelike game where you pick a hero, adventure off into the wilderness to find treasures and fame, and will probably die a lot. Uh, so when you start out, you actually have these first uh, four characters here, a mage, a warrior, a thief, and a paladin. Uh, you do earn these crystals, which is your only sort of like currency or thing that uh, transfers over after death, and I use them to buy this dwarf here, which may have not have been the best idea, so we're going to go with the paladin, who I've had the best luck with, and we're going to quickly return to town, so I can quickly show you the menu and uh, some of the systems. So if you can see at the bottom there, on the bottom left, I got my health, bottom right, he's got my mana, uh, the X button is tied to my character page, my Y button is my inventory, we're gonna, oh, I got a sword here, down would be the map that for each of the uh, levels of the area I'm in, and then I got right trigger with my abilities and stuff like that. But yeah, this town is a sort of hub area where you can spend the crystals that you get. I have currently 24, uh, where you can use uh, disposable items that ha have a certain amount of uses. And I think some of the vendors have kind of hinted at giving you, uh, yeah, I could strengthen each hero in your squad. So maybe like a permanent sort of upgrade, but the crystals are kind of rare to come by, at least now. Uh, you and you can earn them randomly. You can get them as rewards, and you can actually be awarded them at the end of your run when you die if you've done a certain amount of stuff. I think like kill or whatever. I'm trying to get those apples, but I don't think I can. We're gonna head on out of here. I don't want to use any of my crystal rays now. So for the dark forest, I've gotten to level three. Uh, the damned rock, I've gotten to level two. But uh, yeah, enemies hit hard, and if you're not careful, you can die very quickly. All right, let's see. Ooh, treasures. All these are both using uh, neat keys. All right, let's fight this uh, snake here. So the way the combat works is that you hold in the direction of the enemy and you just tap A. And that's combat, unless you have an ability, which you then hold right trigger and then use that ability. Wow, there are a lot of uh, chests in this area. Oh, so that's actually the exit to the next uh, level, which we're not gonna do. Wow, I'm, I'm missing so much. There we go. So I've also tried using the... Th I've actually used all the classes, and uh, so far the thief seems to be the most useless. Because I killed two enemies, and then got one-shotted by the next one. Oh, I leveled up. So the way the uh, level up screen kind of works is these seem to be random. Uh, like, one time, I was, uh, one time when I was playing, like, this ability was one that lets me see all the enemies on the map. But let's see, intelligence. Oh, let's do some more health. There you go. Ooh, that looks like a pendant. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip it. Uh, but if you see the sword there, it has uh, 86 uses on it, I believe. So that was three. Oh yeah, so yeah, it's got. it does have durability. And of course, when I die, that's just gone. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I got a key. Oh, look at all these chests down here. These frogs want at me. There's a vendor. Oh, status effect. It's fine, though. So the first, like, floor isn't that hard, and you are not required to kill all the enemies. Also, these monkeys are terrible because they'll just steal your items. Helmet. I have, don't have enough gold to do any of that. All right. There is also crafting. Certain vendors will let you uh, combine items to make other items. There we go. We're going to level up again. I really don't want to keep fighting the monkeys because they'll steal my stuff. Oh, he stole my health potion. Oh, that's a rock. We'll go around and get that chest, though. So I do have a key now. Excellent. So what do we got? Ooh, more strength. Perfect. Let's kill this frog. Got gotcha. him. Got something. Oh, there we go. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to equip it because I can. Oh, we got multiple keys now. 
Let's go open some of these uh, locked chests. Ooh, nice. Protection from cold. We're gonna, we're gonna hold on to that. Some vendors will also just buy stuff. Look at all these frogs. But yeah, uh, progress feels like it's heavily determined by you getting lucky on some of your drops. Messing these frogs up. Oh, that was a monkey. Have I found the exit yet? Yes, I did. We're going to keep murdering because there's a bunch of chests around here. Nope. Come on. There we go. Once in a while, you'll get like a really good sword that can like poison and stuff like that. It's great. We're gonna le leave out of here. You do, the first time you clear a, a level by uh, killing all the enemies, they're like, congratulations, but that may not have been the smartest thing to do because you just expended a whole bunch of uh, resources to do that. That crystal gave me a, a stat boost for the time that I am playing. Another level up. More mana. Let's just keep piling on health. Paladins are beefy, right? Chance of stun. It's okay. So same, but it can stun. There you go. I think it is kind of funny that they use the exact same sound effect for uh, when you smack someone and they smack you. I don't like these porcupines because they do bleed damage and it's annoying. There we go. Get some money. Oh, vendor. Oh, a chest plate would be chest plate would be really nice. Oh, it's thirty. Uh, let's sell you. Oops. Energy, intelligence. We'll sell that, and then we'll buy the chest plate. Oop, oh, wrong button. And there we go. And I know I saw it over here. I think there was a either a health a health uh, pool or a, a mana pool. Either one would be amazing. Ow. It's a health pool. So we're going to go and kill you real quick. But yeah, the paladin is... Uh, the one that I have very clearly done the best with. We're going to go to the next level. Oh, you know what? We're going to grab this chest. Let's go. Oh boy, that may have been a bad idea. But yeah, the amount of enemies that soon start to like very much start to pile up is kind of crazy. All right, there we go. Hey, we did it! Wow, and he has a bow and arrow. All right, gotcha. <laughs> he stole something from me. Got him. 
found some person over here. I don't have enough coins. Oh, that looks like a, uh, yep, there's a helmet. So now we get, we're kind of beefy, but I think the uh, real issue is that I'm just under, under level now. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I don't think I can kill anything else right now. So let's just wander around and see if we can get any easy chests. Oh, I can't make it to that one. I was gonna say, let's just keep going. That's it. Uh, for those curious about achievements, see like, I got like three levels down and I got no rewards at all. Uh, maybe if I cleared an entire area, I would've gotten a reward. Maybe if I killed more enemies. Uh, but yeah, like that entire run can, kind of felt useless because I got no gains from it at all. Maybe I got one or two ran no, I had 24 crystals when I started. It's, it felt useless and it felt like a waste of my time, which a few of my runs have felt like that. But anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Have a nice day.